What is good? We're back. Week three is coming and gone. We're getting ready to head into week four where we'll be doing some dynasty rankings. So be sure you're <laughs> subscribed, whether you're listening on the pod or you're listening on YouTube's, watching on YouTube's. Uh, we're going to be doing some mocks, doing some remocks. Got a lot of good stuff coming up. Be, keep, be sure you keep it locked and loaded. But right now we're going to go moves to make. Got some maybe some panic selling or some buy low or some sell high. Got it all for you. So I think the first guy that you have to start with when you have a title like that is everybody is the sky is falling on Anthony Richardson. And some of it is deemed, you know, appropriate that he has not Did been. We blow it. We pushed not, him very hard. He's not been exciting. Well, the reason that you push him really hard. I is, thought his floor was 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 13, but I guess it's seven. Yeah. Well, so the Bears, good, good defense, right? Really good defense, especially when you're basically playing against a rookie quarterback. And we've talked about this a little bit throughout things, but Anthony Richardson, we, you know, and I, I don't have take lock. Um, this isn't excuses. This is called a, a long term play of a good asset here. We, we knew that there would be bumps and bruises. He's using his legs maybe a little less than we thought that you would see that right away. But I think that's some of, hey, I'm trying to prove that I can do this and, and grow and learn. What we liked is we liked the coach and we liked the system and we liked the potential development. This is a guy who's played something like 19 or 20 games since high school, right? So that just hasn't played a ton here. And then he got hurt last year. Uh, so it's essentially kind of like a, a pseudo rookie year here. And I know people don't like to hear that because they don't have any patience, but that's what it is. And we kind of knew there was going to be ups and downs and you have to be OK with that. And we have to know that the product on the field is going to be pretty ugly sometimes. Now, what was going around on Twitter yesterday is how terrible that red zone interception was. And I'm not sure if you guys watch the games or you even watch the clip or whatever. The ball got fucking tipped like it. It, it was unfortunate. Maybe he shouldn't have made the throw. I thought he thought he could have made the throw. I thought he could have made the throw. And then when it first happens, you're like, God damn, what are you doing, Bo? And then you're like, oh, that shit got tipped. That's a bummer. So I'm OK with that one. The second one, not great. But again, a rookie. He is missing throws. Point blank period. There's no way around it. It's not great week in, week out. What you want to see, like we're seeing with Caleb and Jaden Daniels, you want to see growth week over week. I think you're seeing some bits of growth and some bits of moving backwards a little bit for Anthony Richardson when you go week over week. Chicago again, good defense. And then unfortunately, he's going to get Pittsburgh again next week. And it's not going to be very fun for Anthony Richardson. It's going to have to be a ground and pound attack, just like you were doing it, maybe a shot or two over the top, kind of like you did in this week against Chicago. Now, they did get the win. I want to see more of what's going on, how they were using Taylor. And I'd like to see Richardson and Taylor get involved in the run game together. I think that's would really help the situation to continue to just, you don't want to get him unconfident in everything you throw. I think you saw that once or twice in this throw. There was the throw to A.D. Mitchell where I think he could have put it in there a little bit differently, but he kind of floated it up high in the air that's and let the defender said. kind of run up in there and get underneath it. Then he just missed a bad throw to, to Josh Downs. It's probably a little frustrating to be on that team right now because you see the you see the the highs and then you see some lows. JT looked great, by the way. This, yeah, yeah, the other day I had to throw this up there. He hit that cutback and went, and I was like, "Woo, doggy! That's that's some OG Jonathan Taylor." But they got a good line. The the next year will be twenty six, though. I mean, gosh, the difference between somebody like Caleb and Anthony Richardson is Anthony Richardson is going to have the luxury of leaning on an offensive line and leaning on a run game, which is something that Caleb Williams does not have the luxury of doing. And they, they can kind of switch courses when they're doing that. But we'll get to Caleb on the rookie show. Sure. Stay tuned. Something that you, you know, Justin Fields was great as a fantasy asset, but at, you give him the benefit of the doubt for two years. And then by the third year, when you're not making the easy stuff happen, whether it be scheme or fit or whatever, perfect scheme for Justin Fields right now. Imagine in Pittsburgh. If Justin Fields had the supporting cast that Caleb Williams has. You know, like he they Still, never gave him a shot. They, stop it. <laughs> well, they gave him plenty of shots. They brought in. They, he had. He had. It DJ was. DJ Moore. Their defense was good. And the offensive line still isn't good. I thought the, the offensive line was a little better. Caleb's scrambling. Still not get it. Caleb's pressure rate is through the roof. And he makes some incredible throws. Um, and but you still, what you work. weren't seeing from Justin Fields is the little things that the easy stuff happening you saw the spectaculars you saw running around and you're three years in and you still didn't see that happening all the time what you see with Caleb Williams the difference between that is is Caleb Williams every week seems to be getting better and better and figuring those things out it just seems sometimes you left for scratching your head with Justin Fields now the system that he's in now I think really complements what he's doing they don't throw it a lot 
They're running the shit out of the ball. He can run around a little bit when he does. Uh, Justin Fields can throw the ball. He's a, a much like Anthony Richardson. He'll make an amazing fucking throw. Like you trading for Fields? I mean, I'm 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 not. I, moves to make. You got off on a tangent here. Another married to the game. I liked. Well, I'm setting up the Anthony Richardson because I think there's a lot of nuance. Uh, it's a callback. There's just a lot of <laughs> Anthony Rich. It's just some nuance in the. Te- you can't just. I want to come out and and tell you that there's. The, the hows and whys Listen, and the, what I'm thinking. Want any context? Just tell me what to do. Bro. Justin Fields, I liked. I liked buying him in the in the tenth, twelfth, eleventh round. I did think this was a good fit if he can get on the field. Is he going to hold his job? I'd see, I see. If you're winning, you can't take him off the field. They're three and zero. They are. Now it's not he, him. He, no, I mean he helped. He's this not last fucking game. it up. He's he not fucking finally, it up. I mean they were down ten nothing. He did actually right was a part of them winning. He's this not last fucking game. it up. And I think the scheme and what they're doing in Arthur Smith's system is fantastic <laughs> whatever it's great for justin fields and to, to bring you along slowly to, to regain confidence they don't have a great supporting cast you know they got two good running backs I mean, and they Pickens. got russell cheering them on on the sideline right, right. it's a good supporting cast. Uh, but let's get back to Richard richardson here let's. and what i want to see is in by the end of the season are we are we making some of these throws that we're not making right now and i want to see in six games, are we starting to make some of those throws? Are we making good decisions? Are we getting things? Are we are the, is the confidence staying up? That's why last year I was saying get out on Justin Fields, and even a little bit before that, and then I'll buy back in. And that's how you play this game, right? That's what you want to do. You want to get out on Sam Darnold, then you want to buy back in when it's back into cheap and just be like, whatever, it's so cheap, who gives a fuck? Um, yeah, ride the waves. At the and right Anthony time. Richardson, the great sell off and panic buttons are starting to happen. People are just trying to get out, and maybe they will be right, and maybe. But I believe in Shane Steichen. I believe in the tools of Anthony Richardson, and I believe in the development that it, ha- it hasn't. There hasn't been any. Hasn't been very. There were four games into the season, and he's about to play Chicago and Pittsburgh. Those are two really good defense. And Houston Week One. That's a pretty good defense. Green Bay playing sh- decent. Could have had a better. Could have had a better game. I mean, they got D'Amico Ryan's is a great DC, and they have a good parts and pieces on defense. So this is not take lock with an AEK. I try not to have take I, because you get call take lock because you don't want to change. And it's I'll change if you I need to see a longer history. Dude, what of things more do you before. need than three games? <laughs> right. There's nothing you can say. That, that there hasn't looked good. Now, the wow throw will be there where you're like, holy shit. That's why, you know, the deep throws there and he'll rope some Cannon. in there and you'll be like, holy shit. That's awesome. But then the the, um, the head scratchers and, and oh, my God, geez, man, that's terrible. That I expected something just like we talked about Quentin Johnston. You expected a little bit of a learning curve, and I'm not out out. I just bought back at we, 14th round. Quentin Johnston sounded great to me. Um, mm, mm-hmm. So anyway, I'm not out on on Anthony Richardson. Now, if I have a bunch of a bunch of Anthony Richardson and a bunch of high dollar leagues, maybe I try to mitigate a little bit and say, hey, I you know see if I can get out. But hey, we're here. We're first round pick for Anthony Richardson. Like and this is filtered with just two QBs. Jack so Prescott, Walker, and a third for Najee and and uh, Richardson. Like you would have never ever seen those prices right before these last couple of games here. Anthony Richardson, Sam Darnold, and a first. Right, See, dude, you couldn't have gave nobody gave. This is a lesson in in longevity. And I, if Anthony Richardson takes that long, uh, you know you got problems. But <laughs> Sam Darnold was dead. They there were everybody who told you that. Sam Darnold sucks. One of those guys probably just made that trade right there. Who was like, Darnold sucks. He's a fucking bum. He'll never be fucking good. And it's like, oh, right time, right situation, uh, right coaching staff. You're not on a terrible fucking team. And Anthony Richardson's none of those. And if he fails in this situation, you know, hey, it's 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 going to be, there's there's not as many things I can point to of going, ah, I don't know why that didn't work. It's like, well, Anthony Richards is just not any good if it doesn't work here. I yeah, don't think. He's got a, a pretty long leash, too. I mean, unless he injures himself, mm-hmm. but it's crazy to see the variance here. The first round straight up for yeah. Richardson and then two, two firsts. First. Right. Which that was 24? How is that 24? This is trades made today. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know what that. Check is. out the Dynasty Daddy trade database. Shows yeah, you got all sorts of good stuff I'm over there. Filtered on just today with just five. Jaden players. Reed, Shahid in a second. I mean, those that's a you know, and Superflex. Yeah, that's a crazy trade right there. I'm sure. On all these, I'm pretty much on the Richardson all side. Although Sam Darnold, I mean, what QB is he? I mean, if you want to win, <laughs> oh, shit, you want to plug Sam Darnold next week? 
or fucking Anthony Richardson. I mean, if, you know what if, I'm saying? If I'm Anthony take Richardson's it, got Pittsburgh. If I'm taking any of those deals, I'm taking the Dak, Kenny Walker, and the three. Give me, give me Dak. But you know, yeah, and Kenny. It's, you right. know, we love, we love three sticks there. Right. Why so, does he not have the third on there? On. So I'm still, I'm buying the dip, not on the panic sell. If you're panic selling, here's some options and stuff that that's going on. Let's uh, let's keep it moving because that was lengthy, and people are already mad because they're like, you just have take lock, just admit it, bro. I'm like, all right, dude. It's spelled T A E K. Cool, 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 cool. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free discord channel or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP and player pages all for your pleasure. All right, let's go Zach Chabonet and not, there's no panic selling here and there's no buying low here. This is kind of a sell high to me. Sharps has been good watching it. I, it's not sexy. I don't think it's awesome. I think he's, he looks fine. Kenny Walker just looks like a completely different beast out there. And he's got this job when it's his job. He's got like muscles on his neck muscles. We, you know, obviously Kenny hasn't been the healthiest guy. So what I'm, what I'm saying here is, is I'm taking Charbonnet and I'm going to the Kenny Walker owner because I bought Charbonnet for a late first, early second, two years ago. And I'm seeing, what I can sell them to him for because it's just, it's, it's proven. It's, it's given you some legs here that Kenny's out. Sharps is good. Kenny's Sharps is there. Kenny's the lead dog. I think, uh, I think they're going to be careful bringing him back. And just, we, me and big D talked about this on the uh, recap show last night. If you're not a patron, become a patron and you can get a recap show at 9 PM every Sunday night where we go over things we like Saul didn't like uh, for the day and you get an extra show every week so five dollar holler go over there check it out uh, and this show obviously presented by underdog type in a promo code ffd at checkout get yourself a nice little bonus if you're not playing the pickums and the hires and lowers get on it it is so much fun if you're a fantasy guy like me and you want a little bit more action go grab you can get live in-game stuff you can put multiple uh <laughs> higher lowers together and times your odds uh of uh payouts there but i you like to read that fine print i like to roll i like to roll with you know only two guys if you're really trying to win and then it's fun to stack up a you bunch know, of them. bed bath and beyond i don't know how much time we're gonna but have. it's uh it's it's really fun make sure you go check that out you can also still draft best balls over there so underwear underdog underdog baby Come, promo code ffd help us help the people uh people right. help the people if you have a gambling problem google the number right so let's go over and see what Sharbs is worth right now. But I propose he's going to be worth the most and the most interested to the Kenny Walker owner. Now, if you're the Kenny Walker owner, I guess you're just excited right now that you have both of them. But in a lot of leagues that I'm in, they do they are not synonymous because a lot of people thought that was going a different way. Maybe right? there's a buy low opportunity on Kenneth here. Sure. I don't I don't hate that. Uh, uh-huh. and, a, and a sell high opportunity here uh-huh. on uh, Charbonnet to the Kenny Walker owner. Like I'm in a league. I got a really good team. Like I might see if I can maybe see if I can get Debo from a team that's not very good and see if I can give him Charbonnet and he's got Kenny Walker. I don't know if that, but that would be like an initial offer for me, like something like that. And maybe people would be like, I don't want anything to do with Debo. I, difference is I got a good team that's really deep. If Debo's, Debo's active, healthy, he's fucking him. awesome, right? Yeah. I can, I'm okay with him being old. I got a bunch of young guys. I'm and fine with that. I, you know, some guy hit us in the comments with my, my team's median average age. But she didn't say median. I added that in there. It's 23. And I'm just like, bro, I've never once calculated like the average age of my team. Like, don't be selling players because they're old necessarily. Like, or older running backs. But even then, I mean, look at these boys crushing these fucking. Well, oh, there's a whole other discussion. Right the the, right. the don't, RBs don't matter. And the uh, established their run folks got, who made it are down bad right now. And they're yeah. upset about it. They're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, and I love it. I'm here for it. For sure. Uh, look at the variance here on the Charbonnet trades. You know, the t- two different trades for a second, and then you got, boom, a first right there. And then you yeah. got Dontavian Wicks in a third for Charbonnet. <laughs> like, I want more than that, I think. Yeah. So I, well, uh, set, uh, you settle for the second? My, uh, my general sentiment was uh, him playing like this, you could probably go recoup kind of what you paid for him. And to the Kenny Walker owner, you might be able to get even a little more, right? So that was that's kind of my, my like a thought fun process player, there. A fun, cheaper player on top of a second? Yeah, or like I said, I'd, I, on the Kenny Walker guy, like I'd shoot for like a, maybe an older player that can help my good team out right now that, that maybe a, a team that Kenny Walker has that isn't very good. You know, there's a lot of, again, there's a lot of context to how the trades have to go down. But like you're saying, Sharbs and David Montgomery for a two and leg it, that's stealing. You're stealing... Montgomery and Sharp. So right. I, I yeah. Like I that want, side. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, but basically, I never the, know what side you're talking about. The, in the, the thoughts of these were like, I think you can go recoup your Sharp. Would think you trade the second Sharp for Diggs? No, no. I just give me Sharp straight up for Diggs at this point. Like, I'm not giving you the two, too. No. Yeah. No way. I mean, we might be able to discuss some other trading for Diggs semantics right now? right now. I mean, Diggs is, is performing. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, they got shellac. I didn't see that coming. No, no. But that's, a, you know, an older wide receiver, or an older player that you need right now for Sharps, for someone like Kenny Walker even get or Tank not. Dell um, you're, not getting, you're not going that high, I don't the think. Tank's but had another bad week, that, right? He's down. Yeah, down a little bit. Um, so that's that's probably a little egregious. But, but. Use Charbonnet to get Right, him. right. So Sharps are the Kenny Walker owners, your best bet. And I, th- I think there's a little sell high, recoup your, your money, because um, it looks like they're going to probably be stuck together there for a little while. And I think Kenny's going to be the dog, the lead dog in that situation. Let's uh let's keep it moving. Let's go Kyron Williams, people's favorite fade because of Blake Corum. Yeah. Well, plenty of reasons. Even before Blake Corum. Oh yeah. Well, fade this guy. We made a living off of talking about Kyron last off last in season and we're going to do it again here. Mm-hmm. Um, probably on the thumbnail. All he does is go out there and and compete and put up good points and there's pretty much no competition. Ronnie Rivers is actually like his only competition right now. The play was always buying Kyron and Blake Corum together. For me, that's the way I like. I looked at it. Some people think that that's a stupid approach. I like that approach. It really just shores things up for me, um, especially if I'm a Kyron believer. I didn't think that Blake Corum was going to come in and take the, the... Why would they? It just didn't make any sense. Like, What did Kyron do to lose the job like that to him? Nothing. And they've just had to come in here and lean on Kyron even more. You see, have, he's only 202 pounds. Have I mean, all of the analytical kind of numbers that you look for been great of you know yards per attempt and this, that, and that? No, but he scores points and they're, they're down bad and depleted. And he's still doing his damn thing. You're not scared to start Kyron any damn week. Mm-hmm. They just played the Niners. Uh, division foe and, and Kyron scored all their touchdowns and that was some of your worry is that you were going to maybe get vultured here and there and Coram was going to get long runs and get it I, I thought he might get a series here or two I thought Coram would get a little more run than this yeah they want to win man McVay wants to win Kyron's giving you the best chance to win buy sell hold Kyron Williams let's get a value check on Kyron you know if you're a bad team I'm a, I'm gonna assume I'm that, that a, that a sell, sell is 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 okay. I got sure. I got some rebuilders last year that I inherited, uh, that I sold them for a first and a third, uh, a first and some some you know fun players at the end of last season. Uh, when, Holy shit! When two you firsts, sure. two thirds. That's a strong ROI. I mean, this there. was a fourth round pick in, in your startups for Dynasty Superflex tight end premium in, our, in all of our. Kyron for Christian, these are outrageous. DK, Dude, Kyron, I would take all these. Kyron for for which side? Like I would sell Kyron. Well, not I, I'm not selling him for Rashad White and Wicks. Yeah. I don't think I'm keeping Kyron. Yes, but I'll sell him for two firsts and two thirds. I'll sell him for two firsts for Rashad White and Bucky Irving. I'll sell him for Christian McCaffrey. I'll sell him for DK. I guess I sell. If I'm rebuilding, you want to flip the Maybe. script on the age and the I'm, wide receiver I'm, I'm going to mostly lean Kyron on that one. And the Christian McCaffrey one, I mean, Kyron's the only guy who was anywhere near close to what Christian McCaffrey yeah. was scoring last year. I'll still take CMC regardless. You probably have you gotta, to take CMC. But yeah, you got to take CMC. Both, my man's going flying over to Germany right now to see a specialist. That's, That's true. That's not good. That's true. Um that's a panic sell. I mean, I'll take advantage of that. And, and it'll be fine. It, you, they got good stuff in Germany. Most likely, <laughs> most likely, probably going to be all right. Maybe Dude, Christian you have McCaffrey. To wait a minute, a minute, just cut you know? the Achilles at this point and just, <laughs> just put it back together. Put that, uh, give him the Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Christian McCaffrey could go out at thirty and go play slot receiver for three more years. Right. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll, I'll turn Kyrie. As long as he wants to play and can stay healthy. He'll be fine, but you know, I don't I don't hate it if you're in a situation where you have a good team and, and McCaffrey's he might not play all year. That's right. a reality. Right. Maybe um, you're rebuilding you sell Kyron, turn him into Christian for next year. Uh so either way, you just gotta take the value there. I, even you know, you just gotta do that, I think. Kyron value trending pretty good here. Kyron and Pittman or Devonta Smith and a first. I think I'm taking the Kyron and the Pittman side, but Yeah, that's two QB. So I, I can see either way on that. You know, if you're trying to get the points out of your lineup. Well, Pittman's not scoring Not that Pittman's that. scoring any points. A first and a third. That's, I traded him for that a basically 26 last year. first. You, you would make that? I tried to trade a 25 first Four last year and a 24 third. So basically the same 
deal, to but get that was Karen? to trade him away because I was um, I had a dog shit team that I I, I inherited. It was an orphan. DK so, Kyron, a two. Similar deal. I would have thought you could get more than that right now for Kyron, to be the honest first with you. First and third? Yeah. Yeah, well, you see two firsts, Buck Evern and Rashad White. That's a massive amount. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I like that. I like that deal. So moves to make, you know, for me, I, I, you know, I, buying Kyron is, Can't buy is, is the option that I want to, the route that I want to go on good teams. But, you know, you could certainly be but selling. You wait a week. Here's some options you to can't come after a 25 point game potentially sell, but wanted to throw Kyron and just talk about Kyron a little bit on the moves to make show love Kyron. And, and you know, does he, does he get a new contract with the Rams? Probably not. Maybe they learned their lesson. Maybe that's why Coram's there, but I bet he gives him a hometown deal. Nah, Kyron, the running backs at this point, you got to get your Don't money. Don't do that. You Go get, get your it. fucking money for um, sure. Everyone, all the running backs should hold out. And Kyron, you know, doing it again. They're down like 3-0 linemen. They're down their two best receivers. So, and he's just still out there putting it together. So, for me, I'd be on the on the buy side on, on some of those. But there was some still some good value on the on the Kyron side. All right, let's go to another sell here. And Rashad White trending down. Talked about it week one that Bucky was coming. Omar coming. Bucky coming. <laughs> Rashad White, excellent. Excellent pass catcher, but Bowles is talking about it this week. Bucky's earning more and more snaps. The the gap is closing on the percentages for. I um, don't know. It's seventy four percent snap share. Right, but it's 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 gonna start closing here. You what you're gonna see is you're gonna start seeing a little bit more Bucky. He might you look up though. You see Bucky rolling. Right. It's just. You see seven out, and I love that seven number on Bucky. Looks great. It's silly. Is this a defensive player? Was it a turnover? I don't like number seven. Oh, I like seven on 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 Bucky. Looks good. The numbers rules. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess it's cool. We don't need like a Nazi, a number Nazi out there. Like, I, I guess I like that they like let them pick whatever. But seven throws me off. Like that was Fournette, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Old Lenny. not quite Fournette. So this was a Jacob Gibbs tweet shout out to him he puts out some good good stuff yards per rush 6.2 bucky 2.1 rashad white yards, efficiency metrics not good yards per rush up the middle 7.3 bucky 1.9 white rush success rate 44 percent for bucky 22 percent for wilson avoided tackle rate 33 percent bucky 19 percent white explosive rush 10 yards or more 16 percent bucky three percent white it's coming baby bucky's gonna come over here and really cut this into a split. Rashad is an excellent pass catcher. I think Bucky's an underrated pass catcher. For me, Bucky actually out carried him uh, nine to six in this past game. And they, the were, they were down uh, the, whole, the whole game. Oh, yeah, to Denver. But I don't know what you can get for Rashad White at this point, and we're gonna we're gonna check it out here in, in just a second and see kind of what where the value is. But for me, I'd be I'd be trying to get out of my Rashad White. I think he'll still be fine. He'll still be usable. He's an excellent receiver, but Bucky is just coming out here and performing. Uh, and we knew that Rashad White was inefficient running the ball, but we knew how good he was as a pass catcher. Um, and they're like, I just didn't see any way that they were going to come in this year and just continue to give Rashad White that crazy workload of rushing. And I think we're going to start to see it kind of flip on its head here a little bit. Still going to be some opportunity for Rashad White. He's like the definition of underexpected. <laughs> right. But let's let's see some some things that you could trade. There's that Rashad White trade again. Rashi Rice and Rashad White for Jamar Chase. I mean, yes, sure. Although. What? How could you trade Rice right now? Well, sure. But, oh, my God. Uh, a first for Rashad White. Give me that. So these are today. So there's still some meat on the bone of Rashad White. A second and a four? That's a two maybe four. not enough. That's not enough. Yeah. I don't, I squeeze some more out of it. Probably would have tried. Like, I'd rather have a like a escalator type player there than the four. Like, Keaton Mitchell was an example for a while for us. I don't know if that's who you'd want in that scenario right there. But just somebody who's not crushing but has opportunity to potentially get in there and do work whoever traded two twos and a four for aaron jones or shot white that's a strong trade you've just plugged a decent amount of points in your lineup moving for a championship right there i like that two twos and a four for white and jones i'm on the white and jones side yeah i mean aaron jones is is on fire white white will be usable um but like I said, I'm I'm going on the on the sell side. The first a two plus something else would be excellent. Two twos would be would be fine for me. Two twos, two twos. Yeah, I'll sell Rashad White right now for two twos. You gotta figure out a way to get that one. Mm, I don't know that you do. I'm trying because he had a couple bad weeks. Just you can't get, get the one. Get me. It. I mean, if you can get the one, great. He was so Rashad White 
Cook, Pacheco, all off season long. They're, 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 to me, they were like the hardest guys to trade because they're worth. They were worth a first, but you can't. It's hard to get the first. And now Rashad White's had a couple of bad games, so I feel like it's probably even harder mm-hmm. to get the first uh, for Rashad White. Cook's, the, Cook's uh, playing well, so that that went way up. You know, Rashad White's is, is going the opposite direction. Uh, and for me, I think Bucky's coming to take a lot more of this and a lot some more of the opportunity. I need a little bit more than a two, especially a 26 two. I wouldn't panic sell. There's two per twos. se. Well, one of them was a 27. 27. I got to get earlier than that. Yeah, I, I would want something earlier than Just that. Just a straight so, up two. I, yeah, I need that, more than that. That's a bit light uh, yeah. for me there. So I was trying to think of a good of a good another player that I would throw in there. Jalen Wright. Cheap. Oh, I'm, yeah, sure. And a two? If you could get Jalen Wright in a two, I'd do that right now for Rashad White. Yeah, love that. Uh, like I said, Jalen Rice got to be obtainable now. He's not getting like, any work at all. Maybe Chase Brown right now, who isn't, you know, crushing it and was one of our favorites or, or you know, I know that uh, our homeboy in, in New Orleans isn't playing at all. He's on IR. Kendra Miller. Kendra Miller. Just somebody that could, Kendra Miller in a two would be interesting for me. I know it's not, it's not fun and sexy right now, but that's, that's how you get the value on these things. And maybe it doesn't work out and you lost a little value on that trade. Kamara's playing so Kamara's well. Kamara's playing great. Maybe the so best he's not not upset about not that the at best, all. But, but he's like maybe the second best he's ever been. You know, What's Kamara's contract like? Two two first Jerry Judy and White for Bijan. I mean that's pretty crazy. So I, what we're seeing here is I'll some, trade. I'll some, do that for Bijan. Yeah, we're seeing it. some some highs and lows on the Rashad White value. So it's, to me, that tells me that there's still some value Don't on his sell name. Bijan. Don't sell Bijan. Uh, and I'm, I'd be trying to get out on that if I if I still. If I still can right now. Kamara signed a five year seventy five million dollar contract. He's got two more years on that deal, but they have a potential out dead cap. Oh, eighteen million next year, so they probably keep him and then ten million after that. So yeah. Kendra might be waiting a minute. Yeah, I mean what you're hoping you, you gotta get out of that Jamal Williams contract. <laughs> and then you then you hope he's kind of the two and can help you know, facilitate there. I was just trying to find some names there. I don't have, I didn't have a list in front of me, but he, he was one that I kind of thought of uh, right there. But, you know, Trey Benson would be somebody right. that I would, Good call. You know, I wouldn't mind pulling in. Jonathan there. Just, Brooks, if you figure out a know, way to get yeah, him. I don't know. I don't know that Rashad. you can do that, but you might have to add to that. Yeah, that, sure. But. You use these players to get the players. All right, let's keep it moving here. We got one more for your pleasure. Um, to me, this is another sell and the value is probably even more depressed on this guy because it hasn't been any good. But uh, DeAndre Swift, is we talked about it. I don't think it was the beginning of the show. There's they this have to no, sell for you. Yeah, they 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 can't get they a can't running sell game right now. Well, we just, so this to me this this kind of popped up because a patron get out before you can the, kind of thing. Yeah, this is a patron before kind of brought this up, and he's before this game, he said he was like ah you know I just sold for a two and Keaton Mitchell, which maybe I try to get something a little different than that. No, I would love to get two twos or I was like ah maybe you need to wait until you know you can catch a good streak from him, which they got. They got the Rams, they got Carolina, they got Jacksonville on a bye. So he could get right here and start going. But their offensive line stinks. They can't get a running game going. I feel like Rashad or Herbert, one of the others, coming in for some of this job. And they're just the way they're using Swift, I just don't like it. I don't like what they're doing. I don't like Shane Waldron. When, and nobody really does. You're not putting DeAndre Swift in the best way to succeed for his talents right now. And if I could squeeze out some value and get somebody else, like you can't play DeAndre Swift right now. I need somebody that I can play. And I was counting on getting some check downs and some easy running lanes. And it's just, it's not there. Some space They're not doing to anything. work with. They, they got to put Roshan Johnson in or Khalil Herbert and let them do some smashing of the football because they, you know, they threw it 52 times this last game. Uh, they can't get a running game going, but they, for whatever reason, they decide that they have to pound it inside the fucking red zone, which could you let Caleb fucking throw it into the end zone, please? But DeAndre Swift, I feel like there's some Roshan and or Herbert coming. And I, I'd, I'd like to get out of DeAndre Swift if I can. Uh, so uh, there's a two for DeAndre Swift. So a two and an, just kind of we were talking about white two and an escalator would be, I guess, what I'm, I'm willing to sell a little low here and just get out. Swift for Najee? Sure. Yeah. I could do Najee's that. hurt right now. He was in a sling. So that's a bummer. A one and a two for Swift and Kenneth Walker. I'll take the Kenneth Walker side. Yeah, I'll just for just give me Kenny, baby. Right. Swift, Lazard, and a three. No thanks. A Swift and a one for Kenny. 
Yeah, if I like, that's the kind of deal I would love to do. That seems like a little bit much. No, nah, you might could me, get something back. Yeah, maybe. But give me DeAndre and a one. I'll take. I'll take the Kenny Walker. Because I, I don't know if you're going to get a one straight up for Kenny Walker. Maybe somebody who's just out because he's injured a lot. And I'll like I said, I'm I'm I think the 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 value is getting depressed on Swift. And like I said, if the ideal thing would be to sell if he has a three game stretch and they go into the buy and he scores ten to twelve points. And you could you could get a little more from them, and then I would for sure get out. I just I don't like the fit. I don't like what they're doing. Uh, just to me, I'm trying to push him out. Let me get a little. We saw some Roshan in this last game. Let's see that split. We're gonna. I think we're gonna see that split maybe dwindle down again. He's just not effective. He's had three or four games here. It's not working. I gotta use him out. in different ways. He's so electric. He can be so good, and he is. He can good be in the so good game. in the you right. Haven't seen that in the right way. Turn into what it's supposed to be. You know, Caleb's pressing. You see some amazing throws. You see some dumb shit. You see him scrambling for his life. Like, I, the fact that Swift is healthy, you know, he's not banged up. He's not yeah. battling an injury. That's, like, the most positive thing because he's always doing that. He's, but he's yeah. been good throughout his career, you know. And he's been fine throughout his career. Uh, I don't think I'd be selling right now. Yeah, I got I'm, him on a squad. I think I want to get out. I could definitely bench him. But then he's gonna blow up. I mean, he's he's due. Oh, he's, he's due for to sure benched. There's no way yeah. you're playing this fucking yeah. guy. I've got deep lead. I have deep, benched deep. him since fucking week. Th- I benched him after week one. I was like, nope, this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work. No way. They can't run the ball. Uh, and and he's not the fit to what they need right now. If they can, if they can he get good in the preseason. If they can get right and they could scheme him right. Yeah. Number one, I don't trust the guy who's scheming that fucking offense. And uh, they're all they're all, like you said, Caleb's getting pressured heavy he's a rookie i would love to see more checkdowns happening and, and get him yeah. involved in the past it's just not happening right now yeah all right before we get out of here i just ian, ian hart's a you know strong analyst fun guy deandre swift has 37 carries this season yards gained on each of them from least to most negative 12 negative 4 negative 4 negative 4 negative 3 negative 3 negative 2 <laughs> negative 1 negative 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 3 3 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 Five, six, six, seven, twenty. Hey, the twenty. <laughs> Bo, I'm watching every fucking Bears game because I'm so intrigued about what's going on, and I just want to like I'm I got it. I got to see Caleb. And I like it's, you. It's fucking awful. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. I'm scared to death of it. I think I want to get out while I can. So, all right, you got to sell somebody, Jason. I know. All right, let's wrap it up. Appreciate you guys. Come check wrap us out up, on, the, kids. on the Discord. Big Co's got shingles. Hopefully, we'll see him at some point. He should have wrapped it up this week or this this Is that uh, a sexually transmitted disease. This hopefully we'll see him sometime. Uh, I'm not. F- I don't want to fucking cycle and go anywhere season. near him with it's shingles. Not, I don't think it's uh, contagious. It's not an STD. Yeah, it's, it's like, pretty it's contagious. Like, I'm not trying to have sex with. Big I don't Co. think it's contagious. Fuck? Yes, it is. I don't think so, dude. Shingles is mad contagious. <laughs> I don't think hit me so. in the comments. Bro, yeah. do you have any home remedies for shingles? Bro, hit us in the comments. Bro, home remedies. <laughs> <laughs> Is shingles, look, it, it even knows what I want to fucking say. Yes. No, shingles is not contagious to other people. If you haven't had chicken pox. <laughs> yeah, well, who hasn't had chicken pox? Oh, wait, pox? chicken pox is contagious. Yeah, that's what shingles is. Well, why did he fucking come tonight then? Because it hurt. He, he's in pain. It fucking hurts. He's a wimp. <laughs> I asked, don't even believe that he has shingles. I asked my wife about it. She said it fucking really hurts. Like, and it could last like she's six, had eight. Him? No, but she works in the hospital setting and where old people are. She's and, a doctor. Yeah. Uh, and it hurts. But nerve, it's like ner- a lot of nerve pain, he's, that she said. So we shall see. Hopefully we'll see Big Co back here I need here new soon. shingles on my roof. Was supposed to be here. He's not here. Get at him and tell him he's an idiot or something. Or uh, console him because he's him. hurting. I feel bad for the guy. I wish he was here. Miss you. Missing your insights. Was excited to share the in-season stuff with you. You really let me down. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having to lug a lot of weight here. I got to get to work. Yeah. All right. Let, let's get out of here. Come join us on the Patreon. You can get an extra show every week, 9 o'clock after the Sunday game. Join us live stream or you catch it on Monday morning and we get you a little recap. You can get a little... Uh, Monday, drive into work for your pleasure. We'll do some uh, ranking updates next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be talking rookies. We're talking college stuff. So keep it locked and loaded here. We appreciate Hit you. Hit that five-star review. Like, dog. subscribe. We're trying to get some T-shirt stuff and some merchandise. 
up and running here in a, in a different situation, a different selling, maybe get some other t-shirts to so be on the lookout for that. We'll catch you next time. Peace.